morning everybody welcome to the channel hope you're all doing well and especially with this COVID-19 stuff that's happening everybody must be working from home or going crazy one or the two right especially if you got kids or teenagers doing schoolwork so let's get into this here so you notice that we're at the radan screen here today i wanted to go over some rad draft so um we can go ahead and show you a couple of things right so rad draft is good because if you don't have a 2d drawing package you know at least with radan you can do 2d drawings dxf save them as dxfs whatnot right and then go into nesting um, even though a lot of people are still uh, are moving into the 3d world there are still some guys who do a lot of 2d drawings right so here you can see i'm in rad draft where you can create 2d cad drawings you can also create shop floor prints right but i'm going to come in here there's a couple of features here so you see in my side panel i've got lines i've got arcs i've got eclipses and shapes and so forth notches and corner details so this is all geared around sheet metal right so um, if i come in here and i want to create a line you can see i've got connected lines i can make a line and do connected lines it stays connected all the time right so um another way is if i come in here click on lines i can actually do unconnected lines and do a line without them being connected um, so now we're gonna move into shapes here this is just a quick video right so shapes i want to make a sheet metal pan right so i'm going to come in here and we're going to actually go 24 and 12 right so here's my sheet metal part okay you'll notice the square stays on because maybe i want to use it again but you can also come up here and you can cancel and it'll cancel that object off there right or if you've got it on there when you hit the next function it'll cancel that off that object right so right let's go ahead i'm going to make a couple of notches right so we get around sheet metal so you can see we got different types of functions and functionalities that you may use during creating sheet metal corners and and whatnot so i'm going to do a mitered corner detail and in here you can change the different lengths and widths of them I'm going to keep mine symmetric just for the ease of this video. So I'm going to do 1.5 and I'm going to do on my chamfer a quarter inch. So if I come over and I hover over the corner, it'll actually go ahead and place a notch in there. So come in here, click, 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 click. Oops, click. I can close that now. I've got a sheet metal corner that I can bend up. Maybe I want to add some bend lines in here just to um, do that. So I can click lines and I can go unconnected. I can change a pen color and I can change the line type. So maybe I want to bend this up half inch. I'll do this one half inch. Half. Me half inch sorry quarter inch right and then we're actually going to do one here one here right now with sheet metal there's our there's our little pan or tabletop whatever you want to call it right so um what i want to do is maybe i want to put some holes in my pan in the corners so i'm just going to come in and go here and we're going to go 0.625 right and then i'm going to come in and i'm going to go origin right so i can click this origin click on this corner 
then I can come down here and enter X and Y coordinates and I can go look I need to come in 1.0 on the X I go 1.0 on the Y and there's a hole right so you really don't want to do that on each corner so this is where you come in and use the mirror I'm going to mirror this I'm going to mirror four corners right so repeat the corner directions and then how I'm going to do anything you want to do look up in here this is very important look here and it'll tell you what to do so indicate the first corner indicate an opposite corner indicate feature or drag a window so there's my feature there's my holes all done ready to go right so now we've got a, a base plan here and there's my part so I'm going to save this drawing save drawing 2D CAD, and we'll just call it bottom pan, right? So there, that there is rad draft in a nutshell. You can do other sorts of stuff here. You can get into parametrics, and you can do other stuff. But I, re what I do recommend is if you need to learn more about rad draft, or you want to dig deeper into rad draft. Go ahead, go to hexagon.com, jump on the Radan products there or training and get um, into a training class. Best way to learn it is do a training class, right? And, and um, if you're already a Radan customer and you want support as well, just log into the customer portal, create a case, and you'll be able to knock something out there, right? So there's my file. Um, actually, before we go, maybe I want to add some text on here as well, right? So, we'll put pan, pan, zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then I can put this somewhere on my pan, because it's my part number. I can change the height, so we'll go six, and then we'll just drop this here. And I'm going to actually change the pen color because if I'm laser cutting or etching or engraving on a punch machine or what have you, I use a certain pen color. So we'll grab that. There we go. Also, because it's a text, I like to um, come in here and realize. That way, when you go to engrave it, it's all not just a block of text, right? It's sort of like when you're in AutoCAD and you explode the text, right? So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And um, keep an eye out for the next video, all right? I was thinking about doing a, um, a Wednesday widget. So, look out for those. And, and we'll go from there. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.